Welcome to the learning support video on the digestion of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The process of digesting carbohydrates begins primarily with what we refer to as polysaccharides. Polysaccharides simply means many sugars. As you'll recall, this process begins specifically with salivary amylase. Through the combination of pancreatic enzymes, carbohydrates are then broken down further down the GI tract or alimentary canal. As a result, this polysaccharide is broken down into disaccharides, or what we can refer to as a combination of two sugars. Through the process of hydrolysis and the activation of other enzymes, these disaccharides are ultimately broken down into monosaccharides, which is a single form of sugar. The process of lipid digestion begins with large fat droplets. These fat droplets are broken down because of input from the liver, which secretes bile, and pancreatic lipase, an enzyme from the pancreas. Again, through the process of hydrolysis, these lipid droplets are then broken down into their simplest form, known as fatty acids. Protein digestion begins with long chains of proteins. As proteins are being digested and through the process of hydrolysis, they can be broken down by one or two different classes. The first class are peptides and the second class are proteoses. With peptides through intestinal peptidases or enzymes and through the process of hydrolysis, these peptides are broken down into amino acids. Similarly, these proteoses through proteases, which is an enzyme in the pancreatic juices, and through the process of hydrolysis, proteoses are also broken down into amino acids.